Malcolm Stewart was involved in a controversial moment a week ago in Daytona while racing with Justin Barsha. <laughs> to cut down and just kind of mistimes it. And then he just rolls right up and uh -oh. over. I think that is what frustrated Barsha. Now after reviewing the incident, the AMA and the FIM have handed down a fine and a sanction to Malcolm. Here are the comments of John Gallagher from the FIM in regards to the situation. Malcolm Stewart had a warning in Oakland um, about five races before Daytona, and uh, it involved something similar to the situation that happened at Daytona. He was uh, in an altercation or collision with another rider. These guys got to be careful they don't battle too hard and lose the front group. Oh, oh. Cooper Webb and Malcolm Stewart. Oh, Cooper man. on the 37, the blue Yamaha. Malcolm rides off on the Honda. Now Cooper gets going. Oh. Oh, Webb goes to the inside big time. Oh, see, Malcolm man. tried to turn and, down early. Yeah, well, Malcolm tried to turn oh. down early, and Cooper cut straight across. I mean, this is really aggressive. Instead of getting up and going back to his bike, he chose to go to uh, the other rider and give him a shove. Um, Oakland was a good opportunity to explain why that's not um, the best choice. Um, focus is on getting back to your bike and your bike and getting racing. We got to Daytona. He felt that uh, there was a, an altercation that he felt was more aggressive than it needed to be. Um, he decided that, to do the same thing, and uh, he uh, um, had been warned once before, so ultimately he got fined uh, for doing it again. So for Malcolm Stewart, it is a $5,000 fine, and he's put on suspension, a uh, probation, I should say. Malcolm should have realized that the position was Barsha's earlier. All this right here, totally disagree with. In the event that uh, he does it in the future, then clearly the uh, penalties will, will, will increase. Frustration for Stewart. Here he is fighting out with Malcolm Stewart. They come together. Oh, wow. Malcolm, that way, he was determined to put Barsha off the track while he was making the pass. Here's a fight for position. This is Anderson and Stewart scrapping over third. Anderson takes Malcolm to the top. go down. Man, Malcolm was not expecting Anderson to jump so far to the inside. That's not the race line. He was defending. Just got uh, Malcolm in a bad position. He had nowhere to go. Stewart, oh, Stewart stands up a little bit, and he wasn't going to get his Honda turn, and he just went straight into him. Well, Stewart and Anderson talked about it a little bit after the race, and Malcolm said, look, I really wasn't doing it on purpose. Took him a while to convince him, though. fairly friendly and then something the words there you can see the AMA official getting his getting his arm in there they shook hands on it it's over and we go to Jenny Malcolm Stewart is down what a shame he was running well uh, I'm, wondering, six. I'm wondering if he had a little help there I think Jason Anderson got after Malcolm in that corner that left hander right after the mechanics area this is what I saw watch this oh knocks him off the chart gets into him the pass, and then here you go. Then you're out with the scraps, a handful. Yep, there you go as retaliation. And unfortunately, it went the wrong way for Malcolm. What did happen between the KTM and Husky riders? On your screen, you see Marvin is going up the inside. This takes Malcolm. Malcolm is going to come down the corner. And yeah, that was, uh, I don't think Malcolm was expecting that. And probably not the best option for Marvin, but. Roger is the director of motorsports for their manufacturers. So both of these athletes under his watchful eye. You can't race like that, okay? You got six people racing. You can't do that. His take on it? Well, he said the blame split evenly between the two. Don't take both of them down, bro. 
He said they need to put it behind them and quickly as these guys are on the practice track together training during the week. If you want to podium, if you want to never get that, we want to podium. You gotta be smart enough. Just as a side note, the AMA did bring these guys in for a meeting this week, the purpose of which I was told was for this situation not to escalate flood here into round two and beyond. He could have squared him up and gone down the right side. He goes straight across, oh, yeah. goes for the takeout right there. That was Malcolm, that was a bad choice. He had the pass made. Yeah, see, and you see, sometimes you see these bad, oh, you see these bad choices. And most of the time, when a rider makes a bad choice, it comes back to bite him. Both guys making some bad choices, consequently, both riders out of the opportunity to uh, make a podium here tonight. It's in timeout. Talking to Malcolm Stewart. Man, he's looking upset there. I'll tell you what, man, you got to give it to him, though. He still did pretty good. Yeah, Six. he put on a strong Six. ride. Here we go, Malcolm Stewart, what a move! On rails! He railed that corner. Set up early. Uh oh, watch this. Here comes Boom! Come on, Malcolm. You got to get up, go. This is going to be serious right here. Basically, Barsha just went for it. Straight up went for it. My goodness. Yeah, um, I was just putting a charge in, and uh, I mean, Justin straight up T boned me, man. Uh, we've been racing clean all year long, and. That was dirty. I'll be straight up with him. And, um, you know, we're definitely going to have a talk right after this race. I want to thank you, fans, um, for everybody, um, the whole Rockstar Energy Husqvarna group, my mom, my dad, Seven, Gurney, Shoei, Scott, um, just everybody. I was doing everything I could. Obviously, it was an aggressive pass. I'm going to own that. What, what, do I, what do I say? I'm out there racing for this championship. That's what I wanted third. I was going for it. Since this is me. One, since day one. Boy, we see intensity in the fight for third. Grant oh. and Stewart get together. And down goes Malcolm Stewart hard. Oh, and, and so goes then down. goes Grant right at the finish line, or right near the finish line in the sand. And they were both in a transfer spot. And now Grant's going to limp over the finish line jump, and he is uh -oh. not happy at all. And I'm guessing Malcolm's not too thrilled with him. Okay, so Grant, this was totally intentional right here, and Malcolm was locked into that rut. This is what happened earlier in the rhythm lane prior. Malcolm looked back and drifted over, and I'm thinking maybe that drift, whether it was intentional or unintentional, is what frustrated Grant. Under three minutes to go, plus a lap, the battle for fourth on the bottom right of your screen. Anderson, does he have it? Yes, he oh, does. It takes and they it. both go down. Hand it over to Barsha. And Stewart trying to get to his bike has to basically push Anderson out of the way. Gets it back up and running. Anderson's up and running as well, but the oh. damage has been done. Tomac goes by. Oh, my. Two and a half minutes left yep. to go, and then this happens. Yeah, he's going. Malcolm doesn't even know he's there. Malcolm's going to turn down early to get a good run for that triple. But Malcolm Stewart looked like he was on his way to a win. Not so much. Look at this. Body checks Anderson to get to his bike. Oh, here we go. Now, this should be an interesting conversation. Yeah, I mean, it was getting towards the end of the race, and I just, 